Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another anime movie reaction and today I'm going to react to Perfect Blue. Now, uh, I have no idea what this movie is about. Uh, like I get, got to know about this from like someone recommended this to me, I remember. And also I was searching in on the internet like which movie to watch, you know, which anime movie to watch. Uh, top anime movie something like this and there was like you know this 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 name popped out and uh, That's why I'm quite curious what this is about and it, it's like, you know This is probably the first time I'm going in a movie without even knowing its genre Like usually I like you know, I know the genre and everything. I don't even know what to expect from this uh, I only know that this is quite good and That's just it So and I also remember like someone actually recommended this to me so like on basis of those two, I'm going to start this movie. So yeah, let's see. Let's uh, see what this movie is about. So without further ado, let's get started with Perfect Blue. All right. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> oh, what the? Oh, this is made by Madhouse? Oh, that's nice. So the animation will be good, that means. Obviously, movie animations are always good because they have bigger budget. Oh, it, like Power Rangers? King Bark. Power Tron. Okay. Oh, so this is this takes place in modern day Japan, I guess. <laughs> That's so cheap. Are they talking about idols? I think so. Three left. What the? He's not even. Oh, wow, they're like jumping from one character to one. Oh. Okay, a lot of things are happening at the same time. What? Oh, so this is an idol. Yeah, 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 I think, I think so. Okay. Jam. Yeah, this is an idol group, isn't it? Yeah. The people were also talking about this group, I'm guessing. Perfect blue. Hmm. Is this the main character? Whoa. Oh, they look the same completely. The three girls. Ah, oh, no, there are small little differences. Wow, the animation is fluid. Oh, it's the same girl, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. 
like the one who was uh like you know humming in the train hmm Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> Mima, okay. Oh, great. Oh, this guy they were talking about. They made a racket before. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, they're trying to make her an actress? Okay. What the? What is he doing? What the? It's like looking at like a, someone threw something. What the hell? Oh great, these guys. <laughs> oh no, this guy. Oh no, are they going to say that she's leaving the idol? Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh bro, great. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, if people start ganging up on them, they'll... Oh my god, it started a fight. Oh god. Wow, she was going to tell that I'm leaving. And these people are... Damn, he got beat up bad. Ugh. No, no. Um. Yeah. It's two and a half years, long time. Oh. Huh? Hmm. Metamorphosis. She sings well, like she could I don't know.
so I can understand like what oh my god got scared what the hell oh my, I have a bad feeling about this guy what the oh my god this yeah th th this movie has some kind of a weird It seems like some kind of a horror, you know? Like not ghost horror type of thing, like actual people horror thing. Like, I don't know if I'm able to properly explain, but you know? Like I can understand why, why like you know, saying that they are not as popular because obviously she's living in an apartment complex, and if she was that popular, people would like you know, like know about her and start bothering her. So I'm guessing she's not as popular as they said. Damn, two hundred dead. Hmm. Hmm. It's going to read them. That's nice. <laughs> oh, this letter. The person who said that I'm peeking on your. What the hell was that? Link. That's weird. Yeah, he's kind she's kind of like bothered now. Hmm. Oh, she wanted to be a singer through the idol, through being an idol, but now she's been transferred to the actress 20. Oh great, yeah I can feel what's happening here, yeah oh my god. Oh god, yeah I can, I can guess what this is about, oh my god, it's like a weird type of a horror. Facts? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Traitor. So, she has a stalker problem, that means. Oh, she's practicing on lines. <laughs> hmm. Damn, she she seems least bothered. What?
Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, room. That. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so it's like a uh, internet, you know, connection. Damn, the change. The change. What the? <laughs> he was the victims. Damn. Hmm. Oh, she's uh, Rika's sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Only one line. Okay. Well, she's like, you know, starting. So that's why. What? Uh, it's feeling nervous, obviously. So many new faces. Oh, I think the it's bothering her. The stalker thing that's actually happening. Oh God. Oh. His name is Shibuya. Whoa. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So they're from the idol agency. Why are the eyes so like you know all the characters? Okay, okay. What? The? Oh my god! Oh, it's rigged. Wait, what? The? Thank God, like she did. Oh my. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that guy okay? Like.
Oh my god, like she should like notify the police, like What is that? Some CCTV camera? They have not called the police. Why? Like ruining her reputation or something? Um, what? That, that's not a prank. I'm guessing internet was very new during this time. I guess it's an old movie, so <laughs> double clip. Oh God, like angel net. Oh, is this the web address which was in the letter? Idol online. Ima's room. What? Mima's style? What, what is this? Um, wait, this thing's actually happened? Oh my god, is, is this a criminal? Oh no, that was in the <laughs> movie. Okay, sorry. I was thinking, is this the criminal who... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my... Oh god, this is freaky. Get out of this apartment. Get out of this place. Oh, that's the only line she had. Yeah. Is this part of the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank God, that guy's fine. Yeah. Mm. Oh, she was awesome, right? <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. What happened to the other two girls? Uh. New champ. What? Wait, what? So they took an a new idol in. Double point. Oh my god, this guy. Yeah, she's bothered now. Like, the, the guy can be anywhere. The guy or girl. Who knows? Maybe it's a female. Oh, okay, she, she's changing it now to see if it really... Oh, God. First thing that they should do is definitely go to the police. Like, I'm guessing like they're not doing that because of her image or something, you know? Like her idol image or the actress image that she's... It's weird, like you know, like your safety is has to be compromised for your image to be actually, like, you know, such a situation in itself is weird. Oh no, it's that guy. Who knows, maybe like, you know, the, the, the movie is kind of making it as if to paint him as the heat and run. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, the, the guy. Like, you know, the movie is kind of making it seem as if he's a bad guy. Maybe, you know, in the end, we'll see that he is not the bad guy, it was someone else. Like, usually these type of things happen. Idle friends? Eighty third. Oh no. Oh no. After she Oh, God. Oh, there, no, no one, no one, okay. The, both of them are the only one doing it. I thought someone else got added to it. Like, wh why even? Like, after she went out, why did it suddenly, like, what? Um, hello? This girl can... Oh, great. Um... Oh, God. This guy. What?
What? God damn, what the? Yeah, her image. Like, like if this was after she became a proper actress, it would have been okay. But she's barely starting and starting with, with it with something like this. I think that's going to really affect her reputation. Like, you know, if someone, if, if she was a full-time actress, you know, if she had a lot of movies and she did something like this, it was all, it would have been all okay. But starting with something like this, like, like what? Oh god, this guy is here. Oh god. She can act really well, like, we can also see that. God damn. Oh my god. Oh god. God damn, what the hell? Oh. Oh god. Ah. Okay, yeah, this um Oh. oh no, oh god, okay, well Oh
cut Oh no. Yeah, this is dramatic. Like, what the hell were they even thinking? Like, people who, like, you know, like, she's barely in the, got into the actress business and now to. Wow, this is too realistic. I like, I was not expecting something like this. Oh my god, that guy. Who is this? His face is not being shown here. Like, you know, that kind of makes me wonder if, if that guy and this guy is the same. You know? Maybe in the end we'll see they're actually different. You know, the guy who got beat up. I'm talking about him. Yo! Wait, what the hell? They're dead. What? Like, each and every one of Oh, it's, it's the same, uh, the website. Oh, wait, he, he, is he the one? He's the one doing it, okay. Oh my god, yeah. Like, I wonder how is he even getting this information? Like, I can understand what's happening outside. You know, but in her room? Yeah, well, it's supposed to happen. No, maybe that guy is the person who is actually. Or maybe not. Like there, there, there are two types of things happening. One person, well, one stalker who actually really supportive of her, but this this other person who is blackmailing her. Oh no, I hope this doesn't backfire on her. Yeah, yeah, this might backfire on her. Yeah. 
Oh god, the, the music, oh my god. God. Whoa, she's Yeah, she's mentally unstable completely. Oh god. Double bind. What the? Who is this? Is it? Is it? Is this the author, isn't it? Oh my god, is that guy going to like... Yeah, I think the stalker is going to do something. Oh my god, Jesus! Yo! Whoa! What the? That was the author, wasn't it? Or was it the other guy with the author? I think this was the author. What? Oh, that is it. Yeah, scriptwriter. There you go. Who knows? Like, no, that, that thing was, you know, was going to harm her. I, I think that's not related to this. Like, the, the, the letter bomb was something to harm her, but this is actually someone doing... Oh, great. Someone is doing this to... Oh, no! Yo! Did he, did she really come out of the car? Oh. Oh, great.
Wow. <laughs> like. God damn. A lot of things are happening at the same time. There's like, I think there's like two stalkers like one's trying to harm her and one's actually trying to like you know like harm the people who is trying to harm her like it's messed up and there's this this multiple personality thing that's actually happening oh god the guy Ugh, everyone's mentally <laughs> unstable so that's why he was pointing his camera in the middle where there's no one. Wow. This really shows the, like, you know, the things that happen in both the fans side and in, in the, you know, in the other side as well and this guy is envisioning Mima to be there and writing in Mima's room and she's getting mentally unstable and like seeing a hallucination and all god damn oh Oh, wow. Um. It's, it's going to burn them all. I think. Oh, or no, maybe not. Oh god. Me mania. Oh great, she's not he's now going to try to kill the actual He ugh What? Who is this girl? Tense. Oh, this is part of the movie. Oh.
She's gone. Oh, they have a radio show as well. I'm having a bad feeling now. Oh my... Yeah, this is... Like the persona that the stalker made is actually tormenting her. Like, it's really... Um, like, this is not something that she made. This, this, this persona is the thing that the stalker made and is like, you know, uploading on the internet. And after reading that, she herself made a hallucination and... Uh, Persona, that's oh my god, that's bothering her now. I was thinking when I was starting this show, what genre is this? Ah, it's a psychological, you know, type of a show. Oh. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh, that was a dream? Yeah, okay, wow. I wonder who outside is. Oh, okay, she's here. Oh, thank God. I was thinking, why, what a new Mima she's talking about? Come on, tell her, like. Ugh. What the? Whoa, she's completely tripping. Oh god. What's happening? She's... It's like a cycle. Oh my god, the same news... Yeah. Someone take her to the... Like, what, what are these people even doing?
like her fake persona that she's using outside is like you know like it's like she's living a dream murder is an illusion Oh no. Wait a minute, is she killing everyone? Is she killing everyone? Yeah, oh my god. It was not that guy, I think. It's her. As I was saying, it's the illusion she created, it possessed herself, the fake illusion. The fake illusion of that, the stalker guy. Yeah. Oh my god. It is kind of like a multiple personality disorder. So that means the, the stalker that she's seen, he doesn't exist, that means. It's someone he she created as a scapegoat, you know, to like pin the blame on an illusionary scapegoat. Oh my god. God, just a sec. Oh no. Yeah. I wonder, does she actually realize that she's the one doing it? Oh no, the... Oh great. What do you even do in this situation? Whoa! What? What type of rumor is this? God. Oh no, it's a screwdriver. That thing. What is that? A screwdriver? And what is that? An ice pick? This ice pick? No, not a screwdriver. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. It's like she's living a dream.
Ah. Oh, this is a part of the movie. Oh my god, this is trippy, you know? This is part of the movie, isn't it? Ah. Wait a minute, is this part of the movie or not? I'm also getting confused now. Okay, it's part of the movie. God. Wow, I am really impressed with this movie. This is fantastic. Like, I've never seen something like this. Okay, it's over. Is it over? Or is this also part of a dream? Oh, oh, it's, oh yeah, she's tri tripping. Yeah, this is her delusion. Oh. Like, she thinks the person is trying to kill him. Will, he com will she commit suicide or something because of that? Starring role. Oh no, I I'm get having a bad feel. Yeah. <sighs> like, this guy is an illusion, isn't it? So, like, is he going to commit suicide or something? Oh. Okay, is he really an illusion? Oh no, okay, this is an illusion. I think so.
Oh god. Oh. Okay, I'm quite confused now. God. Okay, is this not an illusion? What is happening even? Maybe there really was a guy like this. And it's just that he made another illusion that looked like him. Oh my god! Wow! Okay, yeah! Ah. Yeah, yeah, it was an illusion. Yeah, it was an illusion. This is one confusing show. Like, it's trippy. Like, like you know, like, we're seeing the story through a person who is mentally unstable. That's why everything is so confusing. Wow, it's, 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 like she it doesn't even register in her what's happening. Oh my god, the fishes. They're alive. That was also an illusion or something? What? Why him? Wait, wait, wait. What's happening? Wait, it was... Um, hello? What, what, what's happening here? It's as if nothing ha- There was no train stations before? What? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! What? Um... Yeah, you need to go to the doctor, please. Someone take her.
Oh my god. Oh, what is happening? Go, go. It would have been, uh, I'm like, you know, really confused now. What is illusion and what is actually happening? Like, you know, like, anything can be the truth here. Oh. Uh, no, I don't think anyone's going to help you because this is an illusion or something. Something's happening in her head. Ooh. Oh my god! Wait, is Rumi somehow involved with everything? Like, I'm getting a weird feeling from... Oh! Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, it, it was Rumi, wasn't it? What is even happening? The, so the, the, the thing that she was seeing, that was real? Like she was actually seeing someone? Like I was thinking that was an illusion of her head, like you know? A hallucination. Like, she. Oh, God. No. Oh. I'm I'm quite confused here. So it was actually Rumi that was doing everything. So who was that person who actually went and killed 
the uh, you know the script writer and the photographer like was that Rumi as well most probably oh, oh my God. okay I, i'm a little bit confused let's see if if i get some kind of answer in the end yeah she's it's her Rumi, uh, oh, she's quite popular now, I'm guessing, famous. Oh god. A person who looks at the mirror and says something like that. I think she also has some kind of, you know, mental problem as well. Like, you know, like the the last scene where she looks at the mirror and says that I'm real. <sighs> yeah. That scene is also <laughs> uh, Okay, um so <laughs> For a lot of things, I have a lot of questions. First of all, so the person who was stalking her, you know, the, the guy, like, you know, the guy who was writing Mima's room. In the middle of it, I thought it was an illusion created by Mima herself. You know, like she was making a illusionary scapegoat who was actually going and killing everyone. So I thought it was a complete illusion and like you know by the middle of it and then there's when we see suddenly another scene where like you know uh, the stalker and the 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 other guy who who was always with mima you know i think he was he was her manager or something like that that guy both of them were dead so that means the stalker was actually a person so what was actually happening at that moment oh, I, I need to like you know figure this out like i'll probably check the internet out later on you know like trying to find the actual answers like what actually happened in that moment i, I think i got 90 percent of the sh like you know like you know meaning behind this show but the little 10 percent is still kind of confusing me like so like one thing that i can tell here is both Mima and Rumi, both of them were mentally troubled. You know, like they had mental problems, both of them. So, like it's really confusing to actually, like you know, uh, set the boundary as to from where one's delusions start. Like from where did Mima's delusions start and where, from where did Rumi's delusions start? Like both of them were happening at the same time. You know, so, <coughs> So it's really confusing. So Rumi was actually fantasizing herself to be the idol mommy. You know, and that's why she was wearing the wig and everything. And I'm guessing the person who sent the bomb, you know, the bomb letter and the facts to her was Rumi, wasn't it? Who was actually trying to harm her. So who was the person who murdered those guys? The photographer and the screenwriter like like it was shown that the stalker murdered them but obviously i i don't think that was a stalker like in the middle of the show it, it was implied that it was actually rumi who was murdering them but then uh, not rumi sorry uh, it was actually mommy who was murdering them herself but then again like you know like we see like rumi is also somehow involved in this so
So who? Uh, okay. I don't know. I think I should check. Okay, is that the end? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I think I should probably should I check this out? Like what actually happened? Um Okay, now nah, I'll wait for it. I'll like you know, I'll try to figure it out myself and if still I am unable to figure it out, I'll I'll have to check it out because this is really you know, intriguing. All right, so obviously the whole movie was it, this is definitely one of the most interesting movies i've seen like it was so amazing like <laughs> this is a true psychological anime you know where the person who's watching it is also being dragged into the whole psychological thing like like i've seen a lot of anime where there's always this tag called psychological and ha not half like you know 90 percent of them has barely anything psychological in them like like you know like I, I see i feel as if like whenever like people see horror nowadays they say oh this is psychological no this is a psychological anime like it it messes with your mind and yeah that was <laughs> like i'm still confused now you know in a, about a lot of things and it was brilliantly executed like like such an amazing execution like i've and this is probably the first time I've seen such an intriguing uh, psychological anime. And I am really impressed. Like still I'm pro properly being una unable to like you know properly gauge what happened. Like now as I said a few things are very clear here which I'm going to tell now. The first thing that is very clear is both Rumi and Mami both of them have uh, psychological problems. That's one thing that is true I think. You know both of them have problems. Another thing that is true is, uh, so Rumi was all like you know, involved in like, you know, uh, like dressing up as a mommy and messing with her, I'm guessing. And the, the th thing that, you know, she saw the, the, the fake persona of herself as an idol that she saw, I think that was uh, like, you know, like uh, the thing that mommy was seeing was because, um, you know, like she, like she saw Rumi like I don't know like I'm guessing like you know like Rumi some like in that uh, disguise came in front of her sometimes so that's why she made this kind of a persona where she thought that oh this this girl this is my multiple personality she usually goes around and is doing stuff on my behalf and trying to take my place in this world and uh, like like you know the, like it's still confusing even by the end of it but probably something like that because by the middle of the show like i like you know like i was thinking that okay like so mommy is doing ev uh, everything isn't she that means like you know like when we saw actually her going as a like a pizza shop you know uh wait a minute just a sec No, you know what? Just a sec. Like... Okay, another thing that's quite really interesting is that the movie that they were actually shooting for, that gave a lot of hints. You know, like at what actually is happening. Okay, so for example, in this scene where we see uh, the lead actress i think and the guy like they were like talking they're saying that the murderer is an illusion she created yes she fears an imaginary security guard then and and then doubles that figure with the serial murderer of top models But illusions don't kill. But what if the illusion found someone to possess? Just a sec. Just a sec. Okay, he, he, he's saying the murder is an illusion that she created. Yeah. She fears an imaginary security guard and then doubles that figure 
with the serial murder on the of serial murder of top models okay but illusions don't kill yeah but what if the illusion found someone to possess possess then all the main who got murdered were those who were no longer of any use to her okay so here is so so is this what's actually happening like like the the movie itself gives a lot of hints now they're saying that uh the security guard you know like he imagines a ima like she imagines an imaginary security guard and is kind of thinking that yeah the serial murderer who's actually killing the top models is that security guard and then the guy says that but if that's an illusion how can an illusion actually kill then the lady says that like what if the illusion possesses someone like by that she like you know means that the the late like you know the person who is imagining the security guard himself uh, herself is a murderer like it's kind of implied like that so like then like you know then in the next scene we see um mommy come in yeah with a pizza thing and she takes out the uh the ice pick and stabs the guy yeah and i'm trying to find out something here like is this actually this is mommy isn't it yeah this is not uh rumi <sighs> excuse me oh god like yeah i'm seeing the scene again like yeah that that's mommy that's not true okay um now i'm saying that this is mommy because this is a scene which involves the actual murder when uh, the photographer gets murdered so this scene probably won't have some kind of psychological illusion in it you know because we're actually seeing the scene from kind of his perspective as well so i don't know like you know um okay one thing um Oh sorry, that's, I'm calling her mommy. Her name is Mima. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, like so then. Okay, like I I don't know. Like I'm getting confused. Here. Why would she kill them? You know, if this is really Mima that's killing him, you know, the 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 person. Like I was trying to find out one thing here that is uh like the murder, like you know, the way they're killing the person using a ice pick. You know? Now here's the thing. Like the first two murders it happened with an ice pick but you know using their eyes were poked out okay and i'm i'm trying like you know in, in the next murder which happens where um the guy the the security guard guy the stalker that we are seeing like he gets murdered like that scene is also quite okay um all right before that scene uh, we see mima saying that i have to call tado korosan you know the guy who accompanies her and she's calling her uh, uh, calling him and we see him dead his eyes is all eyes are also poked out and then there's this security guard guy now like this is the bit that's really confusing me so if if this security guard guy was an illusion you know illusion made by mima how is he he here so 
I'm guessing this guy actually existed. Like, you know, like this guy actually existed and Mima seeing him kind of thought that, yeah, this, this guy is probably a stalker. And like, you know, made an illusion where she thought that guy, that guy is actually killing everyone. Whereas she was the one who was actually killing everyone. At the same time, like, you know, like this guy was also killed because she thought I don't know okay this is confusing me like there are two confusions that is that is actually like you know uh, bothering me the first thing is like what's like you know who actually killed these guys like it can either be Mima or uh, Rumi so that's what that, that's the main thing that's like you know really confusing me like who was the murderer like we can see that Rumi was actually going trying to kill Mami because she wanted to become her you know her like you know her pop idol thing that she was kind of fantasizing about the proper you know pop idol so because of that she was trying to kill Mima but then who actually killed the other guys was it Mima or was it Rumi I'll have to check this out later on you know like because it's still not I'm still not you know uh, and another thing like <laughs> this another thing that's bothering me here like in the end so that like you know like all those hallucinations that were that were happening you know like the fish is dying the the picture the picture that she kind of you know took away and then she suddenly finds herself in an like you know in a weird room which she doesn't even recognize like that was all that was happening with Mima wasn't it so that means she was also mentally troubled by everything you know like she was also hallucinating she was also mentally uh like suffering so that so that means like both of them both Mima and Rumi were mentally not stable my god this is a real confusing show ah uh, but the main thing I kind of understood you know like the main fact like I can kind of understand and like it is very like you know like simple in that regards where they actually like you know showed us what happened in the end like it was actually uh, Rumi who was uh like you know like who was you know what i think it was actually rumi who killed everyone i think because like like you know like maybe rumi wore the wig and everything and went and killed the guy you know especially the pizza guy because like we were seeing mima's uh, like you know when he was she was stabbing him we saw it was actually mima stabbing him you know but like you know who knows maybe that's just something that the movie did to trick us you know for us to actually think that it was Mima but actually it was Rumi now I think why it was Rumi because there's a reason behind it I think that it was Rumi because Tadok, Tadok, that was his name wasn't it the guy who you know like was actually helping Mima in a like you know like in a few ways that guy I doubt Mima you know would have killed him I doubt that so the last murder what ha which happened I don't think that was something that was done by Mima so that leaves the only person who could have committed that murder is Rumi you know so that's why I'm saying that probably Rumi like did all these murders before also because I, I don't think like she would kill um, Tado what was his name yeah Tado Koro Like, I might be wrong, you know, uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, I think it's something like that. Like, we, like, you know, we sh feel free to comment down below, uh, like, people who have watched this and actually understood by the end what happened. I also, I've also understood most of the things, but a few things, as I, like, explained, are still kind of confusing me. Because this show was done so well, like, you know, 
that like it, it gives a very like you know miss like you know weird type of uh like i think you need to properly watch this two or three times to actually get it you know like now that i've watched it if i like watch it again later on like i'll be able to catch a lot of new things because now i know what actually happened here like in the beginning like i had no clue what's happening you know like the only thing that was like i knew was that like another thing that i like you know like that is really well done is that as i said like they did not let us notice anything like in the beginning of the show you know I was under the impression that oh there are like two stalkers here ones who is actually trying to harm her and then this other one person who is also kind of harming her in a way but like you know he was uh, killing the people who were abusing or like you know mistreating uh, Mima like, there were two type of stalkers there by the end uh, like you know by the middle of it I actually realized that no that's probably not it was actually one person who was doing all of these that 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 guy the the security guard guy you know like that was the stalker who was actually doing both of the things because she, you know when like when he started writing that line that kill like you know like i will like re like remove the uh, bad uh, ma ma uh, mima and i'll only like you know the 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 idol mima will only uh, survive like you know like the idol mima was coming in front of her uh, in front of him and saying that uh, why don't you get rid of her like, i'll be very happy and he was like you know he was writing the mima's room blog and all at the same time he was planning to kill mima like that's when i realized that no it, it's not two stalkers it's only one stalker and that's this guy you know this security guard guy like he is thinking that the mima who is doing the actress job as a fake one you know and the actual like you know the the, the mima who is the idol mima he, he was thinking that yeah i'm the only fan of her and she really relies on me so i should do everything to protect the reputation so that's why he was also trying to harm mima and at the same time trying to protect mima like why was he trying to he was trying to harm mima he was trying to harm mima because he thought that mima was an imposter and he wanted to kill her so that the actual mima which is an illusion would be happy and why was he trying to protect mima at the same time by like you know uh, like he not protect in a sense like you know like he was actually murdering people but still like in his head he was trying to protect her like in his head he was like you know thinking the reputation of Mima which is like you know getting destroyed he should like you know uh, preserve it and that's why he was going around killing the people who was actually harassing Mima so at the same time he was trying to harm Mima and at the same time he was actually killing the people who were harassing Mima it was the same person like you know like it was i think in the 30th uh, 40th minute something like that like you know I, I started to actually realize that something like that is happening that again proved to be wrong when we get to see that like there's actually no people person here it was actually mima that was doing everything there's no stalkers nothing you know the the person that is the stalker that we are, are always seeing the security guard is just an ordinary security guard that mima saw and thought that yeah this guy must be a stalker you know the guy who actually beat up those kids in the first like you know scene that guy like that probably made a huge impression on her and he kind of she kind of constructed a stalker in in his like you know appearance in her in her mind and it was actually mima who is like in, in the middle of the show it was like i actually realized that okay like so what's actually happening here it's actually mima who is doing everything like you know like she made uh like a lot of things in her mind the first thing that she made is a uh, fake mima which is the idol mima who is actually trying to take her place the another thing that she an illusion that she made is that stalker who's actually going around killing people you know and who's also trying to like you know harm her at the same time you know these two like you know are the constructs that she made and like and she herself was actually fulfilling both of the constructs like you know what they are doing like she made these two, these two illusions and those as, as as the you know the, in the movie the the, uh, the actress said those, those illusions are actually possessing that person you know the illusion that she made that illusion was possessing her and she was doing all the stuff that those illusions she thought that those illusions were doing so it was not those illusions were doing nothing it was actually her doing everything and 
you know, she was thinking that, yeah, this stalker is doing everything, which is actually an illusion. Like, it's a very, like, you know, like, it's, it's a multiple personality disorder, completely. Um, where, you know, like, you make a scapegoat in your mind, and, like, you know, whatever that scapegoat in your mind is doing, you're doing it, technically, but you're thinking that, no, I'm not doing this, someone else is doing this. And, you know, like, this thing, in the middle of the movie, I, th I thought that something like that is going to happen. It's happening actually. Again, it changed. You know, in the end. In the end, we get to actually realize that probably the, all of these things, like, like she, obviously, like Mima is mentally challenged. You know, you know, mentally, like you know, has a lot of problems. But maybe, maybe the person who is murdering the people is actually Rumi, because Rumi is also mentally, uh, you know, uh, bothered as well. Like. As like you know, do you remember Tadokoro, like the, uh, the guy, he he, he said that uh, something. Uh, you know, Rumi some said something like, like oh, like I am not in my prime, am and aren't I? Like you know, I like you know, like that kind of shows that yeah, she was also an idol once, something like that, most probably. And because she is old now, like you know, like uh, like her age has went away, she cannot do like you know the idol job anymore and obviously like you know like in idol like in these type of business you're like you know everything is very like needs to be uh, proper you need to be a certain age you need to keep a certain body figure everything everything really matters so like like that's why like she's unable to do the idol job now uh, and like that bothers her you know so like that means like she was actually fantasizing the idol uh, uh, mima as herself you know, like, like as Mima in the end said that she's actually a person who helped me in a lot of ways. So she really helped Mima in a lot of ways. But like, you know, there was also a part of her which saw herself in Mima, you know, probably because some kind of hardship she must have, uh, you know, had to go through in her young age as well, probably something like that. And that's why she was also so like, you know, sympathetic towards Mima. But like, you know, like she was kind of fantasizing herself to be that Mima, you know, that idol Mima. And like, that's why she was wearing the wig of Mima and trying to like, you know, uh, like kill the fake Mima that she was thinking that's actually existing. And she herself wanted to become the idol Mima. And, you know, like that's the reason that's the, I think, main reason why she, like, you know, which was actually the mental condition that was affecting her, this type of, this type of thing. And you remember in the beginning when the, 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 the movie gives out a lot of hints, you know, the, in the movie plot like this, it says that the, the criminal is actually, I think, pulling out the uh, skin or something and trying to become the victim himself or something like that. That's actually what, like, you know, Rumi was going through. So something like that. And like, as I was saying, like, you know, in the end, we actually realized that probably it's Rumi that's actually doing everything. And even though Mima herself is mentally uh like not uh like you know okay you know like mima was the actual person who was doing the killings and he in the like you know in the end she also came and tried to kill mima because uh like you know this mima is supposed to be a fake mima so that's why she tried to like you know kill that fake mima as well so that she herself can become the original idol mima which she was fantasizing in her head probably something like that you know and um like in the end we see like all of that like and like i it really clicked when in the end you know when we saw in the mirror the the actual like you know rumi's picture is being shown and when she was running you know like in the glasses her reflection was coming out which was actually rumi so like you know like mirrors don't lie so even though the illusion that like you know uh, mima was seeing was herself you know like the mirrors and the uh, glass that reflected her could not lie and we could see the actual thing that was happening you know that really uh, like you know uh, made me realize that yeah this is something like that and Yeah, so that's what actually was happening, you know, like uh, Mima herself was bothered by everything that's happening, you know, like she herself was mentally like disturbed because uh, 
Oh, wait a minute. Just a second, I'm, I'm trying to, like, you know, see that portion where uh, Mima actually kills the uh, security guard. Oh no, I was thinking that maybe she really did actually kill the security guard. No, that's not it. Because she was also mentally unstable at that moment. Because you remember the security guard said that the actual, like, you know, the actual Mima, uh, like, you know, messages me. And, uh, like, you know, she wants me to kill you. Something like that. And after that, Mima kind of struck him with the hammer. I thought maybe that was, act the security guard actually was trying to, like, you know, kill her. But that's probably not. That was also an illusion, I think. Because, you know, like, uh, like the security guard was telling stuff like the actual Mima and the fake Mima. So the person who actually, like, you know, like, believed that, you know, that there's a fake Mima and there's a, a real Mima was her herself. So that's probably her, like, you know, a mental illusion as well. Like, there are still a few things that's actually, like, you know, a little bit confusing still, even after I've watched this. But I've, like, you know, I've understood most of the portions. And in the end, like, you know, that, that scene also kind of bothered me. Where, like, you know, like, she looks at the mirror. No, I'm real, she says. And then she kind of smiles in a weird way. Like, I think that kind of shows that she like you know like she herself is also struggling with something you know like some identity disorder which is why like you know she looks at the mirror and kind of affirms herself and says that yeah i am real and uh, that shows that even though rumi herself is like you know getting treated for her mental like you know multiple personality disorder <coughs> rumi uh, uh, mima also has that problem and probably this will also like again start bothering her later on in the future. Who knows? Like she'll also probably get into some kind of situation. That was a fantastic movie. I was, I, I really knew nothing about this. And that's why like, you know, this game is a real surprise. Like in the middle, like, you know, by the middle of it, I was thinking like, oh my God, this is one of those realistic movie movies where, you know, we get to see like what's the dirty part of the, like, you know, the actual, uh, like, you know, idol and also the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The celebrity industry and all those things we're going to see. That was there, but no, like, like from the, like, you know, f almost from the middle of the show, it started changing in a very, like, you know, like completely different direction and it got so interesting and like damn like i was not expecting this and that was a real surprise i love this movie this is definitely one of my top movies uh like the like the main thing as i said that i really love in this movie is the execution of the psychological factor it was brilliant i've never you know, like there are very few like anime shows or very few movies where I have seen like, you know, which actually executed the psychological portion so perfectly. Like people like nowadays throw out like, you know, like psychological, like, yeah, this movie, like, you know, this anime is psychological very carelessly. Like I've seen this, like, like normal horror people also say that, yeah, this is psychological where, whereas there's nothing psychological in it. You know, it's basically horrors and jump scares. Like that's like what psychological has fallen down into. So it's a really like, you know, surprise to see a show like this, which like, you know, perfectly you know, executes the psychological portion so brilliantly. Like what is psychological? It's, it's, it's a show which makes you actually confused and makes you, you know, question like, am I actually like, you know, question yourself that is this what's actually happening or is it fake? Like, and then you actually come to a decision and then you actually realize that, oh, no, the decision that I came into, that's also fake. Something else is happening. In this show, that was what happened continuously. Like, you know, like the, the girl was living in a dream completely and two, like, you know, two people's psychological, uh, what do you call it? Like conditions were mixing in a weird way with like, you know, like 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 one scene we are seeing her kind of getting trying like you know like killing someone and then the next section we are seeing her actually sleeping and then in the next section we are seeing her in front of the like you know camera and then again in the next scene we see her in her room 
like these type of things like it, it makes you like question what is even happening like that's a psychological anime and that is like you know like it, it, this is amazing like brilliantly done and i think this is a quite a um yeah this came out in 1998 wow that was fantastic i loved this and i i never thought i would really like this and uh, like this is really underrated isn't it like i like before today i've never heard even heard of this movie you know i just kind of searched in the internet and i kind of saw like you know someone mention it and someone also recommended this to me that's it like before this i've never even heard about this movie and like that means this is criminally underrated like wow like this is like i love this this is fantastic like so good like i, I you know what just a sec uh uh there's a story i think i've read um yeah like like previously you know i used to read like you know little stories and all uh like uh, i think uh this was a book written by uh shirney sheldon no which is called tell me your dreams i still remember because this really reminded me of this book, that book i don't know if you guys have like you know heard of it or not but you know like shirney sheldon's uh like you know was the author of it tell me your dreams like uh, i used to read a lot of story books before i started anime after i started anime you know like anime started taking so much of my time that i like actually stopped reading books but like you know like this is one of those books that i've read like it's, it's called tell me your dreams by shidney sheldon this story like you know this movie reminded me of that story like a similar thing happens there and like in that story like like it's actually you know you realize in the end that like you know like the person like a similar thing happened you know like the person who is the victim here is actually the person who is committing the crimes and like you know it has a multiple personality disorder even though this movie in the end we kind of realize that it's not mommy uh it's not mima but actually rumi killing the characters you know other characters but still it's kind of similar so this really reminded me of that story you know like yeah and that was a really great movie so yeah guys that was it so this was a real surprise i i love this one so so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share and you know like definitely comment down if you have some kind of explanations about the things that i talked about and if i'm wrong about something because i'm sure i have been wrong on multiple occasions because as i said like you know this story is something that confuses you so i might have gotten confused and said a lot of like you know things that are incorrect that might be incorrect you know like if something like that happened be sure to correct me you know in the comment section and i myself will also try to find out what actually happened in the internet later on you know because i'm really curious about what actually happened in this story you know like am i is everything that i am thinking is it correct or am i mistaking something like i'll have to check it out later on anyways so yeah and uh, comment down below as i said and yeah so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching okay next week next week i'm going to do a movie which is uh related to an anime not related but you know the same person made it uh, an anime that i'm currently reacting to now which is called tatami galaxy uh the movie that i'm talking about is night is short walk on girl or in japanese yoru wa mijikashi arukeo otome so yeah yoru wa mijikashi aru Arukeyo Otome. Now, I'm doing this because Tatami Galaxy is probably going to end by the, you know the next week. I'm reacting to it, so that's why I want to really check this movie out as well because I really love Tatami Galaxy, uh, and um, <clears throat> this is a movie I think which is also made by the same author, you know, and it has similar vibes to that. So I'm quite interested in this. So I'm going to check this out the next week. Night is short. Walk on girl. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching and uh, this was my reaction to Perfect Blue. So I'll see you guys next week with another movie reaction. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.